So a key part of what we help our clients with at Good Life is their debt structures. How to structure it correctly at the front end and also how to get rid of it as quickly as possible. So let's just go through a few things on the whiteboard here to describe what we mean by debt structures. So this is just a dummy example of a client who's got a million dollar house and a um, debt of $450,000 and they also own an investment property which is worth $600,000 and it's filled up with debt, $600,000 worth of debt. So let's go through how we would structure that for a client. First of all, we have what we call a PTA set up, Personal Transaction Account. We just generically call it that because every bank has their own name for that kind of account, so we call it a Personal Transaction Account. It's not hard to understand what it does. Your income goes in there and you spend your money out of there. FPOS, direct debits, automatic payments, that kind of thing just a cash flow facility, basically. Again, we've put a buffer of $10,000. There's no magic reason for that. It's just like an overdraft facility. It's floating and interest only. It's the account that the principal and interest payments on their debt come out of as well. Now, as you can see, we've broken the debt down into smaller increments, okay, across different interest rates. Now, it really depends where we are in the market as to what kind of rates we would choose, but we do uh, err on the side of spreading risk, diversifying across different interest rates, as you can see here. 12 months, 18 months, 24 months. So rather than having $450,000 all on one loan and one rate, being at the beck and call of the markets out there, we would hedge our bets, diversify, spread risk, and we would put it across different interest rates. Chunk it down into smaller increments like that. And this debt is principal and interest debt, and we'll come back to that. So on this side of the whiteboard, we've got investment. So this is P for personal, I for investment. Now we've got their investment property. We've, we've done basically exactly the same thing. We've chunked their $600,000 worth of debt into four increments across four different interest rates. And again, I must stress, it would depend on where the market is as to how we would choose those interest rates. For example, sometimes we may have two or more on the same rate depending on what's going on. But again, we want that ongoing long-term diversification. Now this debt is interest only versus principal and interest on the other side. If you watched our video on good, good debt versus bad debt, this is good debt, this is bad debt. So we wouldn't wanna pay down a dollar of good debt while we've still got a dollar of bad debt. So the goal is to get rid of this debt first and then, by all means, turn your attention to your good debt, your investment debt, and pay that off second. As you can see, the rent's going into the investment transaction account. Again, it's got a buffer facility of about $20,000. It's floating and it's interest only again. It's just a standard transactional facility that the banks would set up. And the rent is going in there and it's feeding those interest only components into these loans here. If there is any surplus um, position, if the property is cash flow positive, then we would recommend that that debt, sorry, that surplus is funneled towards your bad debt. Same with if you've got any surplus in your cost of living, which you should, you should be spending less than you earn, we want to have you uh, pay your debt off as quickly as possible. Get rid of this as quickly as we can, because this is dead, bad, monkey on your back, noose around your neck debt. We want to get rid of it. This uh, symbol here is just referring to if this was a negatively geared property, you'd be sending across from here to here those weekly top-ups um, as a negatively geared um, property. So this is just part one in our mortgage structures. We're going to look at part two next in relation to what if you have a trust in place and you want to look at splitting the banks. Mm -hmm.